Hello everyone, Ron Johnson here from LTL Tutoring Central and it's story time again. Today I'm reading a very short story by Kate Chopin who lived from 1851 to 1904. She was an American writer and she's well known for her short stories. Her short stories are amazing. I use a couple of other of her stories in my uh, teaching programs. This one is called The Night Came Slowly and uh, as I'm reading, as you're listening, or if you're reading it on your own, you will notice that there's a lot of descriptive writing. You can picture the scenes in your mind and you can just sit back and enjoy that on the surface level. It's a wonderful way to enjoy the story. However, there are many layers in this short story and I, I believe that if you attend to it, if you reread it or listen to it several times, you can extract a lot more meaning and a lot of depth out of even this very, very short story. Sometimes the shortest stories can have the deepest meaning. It's the same with uh, poems and this is like poetic prose. So I invite you to listen and just enjoy the descriptions and uh, gain a little bit of meaning from the surface of the story, but I also invite you to look more deeply into the story. I hope you'll do the same with my stories. I write them uh, in a similar vein, trying to have uh, good meaning on the top, but some very deep meanings as well if you care to explore further. I'll put links to my short story collection below and we'll be looking at the text as I read Kate Chopin's story today. So let's get started. The night came slowly. I am losing my interest in human beings, in the significance of their lives and their actions. Someone has said it is better to study one man than ten books. I want neither books nor men. They make me suffer. Can one of them talk to me like the night, the summer night, like the stars or the caressing wind? The night came slowly, softly, as I lay out there under the maple tree. It came creeping, creeping stealthily out of the valley, thinking I did not notice. And the outlines of trees and foliage nearly blended in one black mass, and the night came stealing out from them too, and from the east and west, until the only light was in the sky, filtering through the maple leaves, and a star looking down through every cranny. The night is solemn, and it means mystery. Human shapes flitted by like intangible things. Some stole up like little mice to peep at me. I did not mind. My whole being was abandoned to the soothing and penetrating charm of the night. The katydids began their slumber song. They are at it yet. How wise they are. They do not chatter like people. They tell me only sleep, sleep, sleep. The wind rippled the maple leaves like little warm love thrills. Why do fools cumber the earth? It was a man's voice that broke the necromancer's spell. A man came today with his Bible class. He is detestable with his red cheeks and bold eyes and coarse manner and speech. What does he know of Christ? Shall I ask a young fool who was born yesterday and will die tomorrow to tell me things of Christ? I would rather ask the stars. They have seen him.